Hello beauties, my name is Dalinda, the owner of London's beauty hair salon based in Bowie, Maryland. Traditionally, I don't know if you guys see some lemonade, it's very flat on the forehead. I don't Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my beautiful model. You might remember her from my past video. She's going to be telling us what hairstyle we're going to be doing today. Hello everyone! Today we are doing Beyonce Lemonade Inspired Braids. I'm so excited. Beyonce's Lemonade Braids were done by celebrity hair artist Suzy. She is the owner of Hair by Suzy Hair Salon. She is also here on YouTube, so check her out. Now back to this video. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited also. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. For this hairstyle, we're gonna be needing the expression. This is color 30, 27, color 6, 13. We're gonna be cutting it into two after cutting and blending. Look at how pretty this color is, people. Keep watching. For this hairstyle, I divided the hair into three sections. Ryan Little. <laughs> I always start with a thin piece of hair so it is not bulky at the roots. And as you go along, you are just going to be feeding in the hair. Hold the hair very gently so it will not be too tight. Does it feel too tight? No, it doesn't. I always like asking my models or my clients if their hair feels tight because sometimes people always scared of getting braids because they always have the fear that it's going to be tight based on what some of my clients always complain about their previous stylist. And beauty should not always be painful and we should not live in fear of doing our hair because of our past experience with protective style. Protective style should be fun and pain-free, hopefully. Since this is Queen Bee inspiration, I want it super long. I'm going to be adding extra hair to increase the length. See, no knots, you want it to be slick. I'm going to braid it all the way to the end. going to be adding extra hair to increase the length and as you go along you are just going to be feeding in the hair no knots
So tip number one, I section the hair into three, but this other part is part of the three sections. So I'm going to divide the hair into two. This part is going to be a box braid. The reason why I always try to put box braid underneath the lemonade braid. Traditionally, like, I don't know if you guys see some lemonade, it's very flat on the forehead. I don't really like that. So when you put a single plait underneath the cornrow, it gives it a little bit of volume. It's not going to be bulky at all because I'm going to do the box braid a little bit smaller and less hair. And that will create more volume to the ends of the braid. And you will see, keep watching. This is the side that we've gotten so far. Then this part going to be coming down to her face. And this is your single plaid. because of our past experience with protective style. Protective style should be fun and pain-free, hopefully. We have our beautiful model. I first began by filleting her eyebrows with the Ulta brow pencil. And just remember, ladies, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. As you've seen the video, it has one eyebrow with a natural higher arch than the other. So I tried to even them out as well as I could, but just remember they're sisters, not twins. After filling in her eyebrows, I concealed under her eyes with Too Faced Born This Way concealer. For her foundation, I used two different shades. I used the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Cadiz and a Too Faced Born This Way concealer in Warm Sand. 
I start by blending out her foundation with a brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. And then after that, I go over it with a beauty sponge. Here you see me contouring her cheekbones and her forehead with the black opal stick foundation. For her under eye concealer, I started off using the NARS Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. And then later on, I added a lighter shade. I used the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Natural Beige. Her contour was blended out off camera. But here you do see me blending out her concealer first with a concealer brush. And then I go over her whole face with a beauty sponge. I'm making sure to get out all of the creases out of her under eyes and on her lids before using a setting powder. The setting powder I use is by Beauty Bakery, it's their flower powder. I'm pretty much setting everywhere that I highlighted with that powder using a beauty sponge and I just keep patting it into the skin until it eventually disappears. For her lids, we just added a light wash of color using the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I mixed two different shades. I mixed the shade Zama and Dara. I'm placing the eyeshadow all over her lid and just blending out the edges. For blush, I use the Milani Big Blush and just place it on her cheeks. And for highlighter, I'm using the Juvia's Place Highlight in Nefertiti. I'm highlighting her cheekbones, the tip of her nose, her forehead, a little bit on the bridge of her nose, and a little bit on her chin. Just anywhere I want to attract extra light and glimmer to. As you can see, as she's turning, you can see where the highlight is subtle, but still there. Lashes and eyeliner were added off camera. For her lips, I used a couple of different colors. I mixed Max lipstick in Flat Out Fabulous. And I also mixed an orange shade from an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette to kind of make it a corally pinkish orange color. After that, I added some clear gloss and then later had her blot the excess on the napkin. And that was the finishing look. I hope you guys enjoy this brief tutorial. Stay tuned for more looks. That T-Wine girl, don't need to read your mind, I can see the signs, girl. Hey, hey, if love is blind, girl, body like braille, let me read between the lines, girl. Down like loose change, let's try new things. Way you shake your body, give me new swings. Running through my mind, she go you saying. Got me thinking about giving her my last name. The way you're moving on. Perfect dance, so come on, go ahead and just flex on the beat. 